What's up guys, it's Emerson eMoney here and I got some awesome stuff to show you about how to buy and resell bike trainers. It's really profitable, so check it out. So this is the Kinetic Rock and Roll Trainer. It's a fluid resistant trainer and I can tell you that by this big apparatus right here. They also have what are called magnetic trainers which are a little bit thinner on this portion. But this one's a fluid resistant trainer and the fluid resistant ones are going to be worth a lot more. Now this right here, this is where your wheel is going to quick connect into this lock ring right over here and your rear wheel is going to go against this little flywheel back here. Alright guys, key things to look out for when getting your first trainer, you got to check out this lock ring right here to make sure it's not loose. If so, then I believe you can get some spare parts for this one. They do have a lot of spare parts on in the Kinetic website, but this is one that you need to check out. This as well, which uh, kind of turns this lock ring into the wheel hub. We also have an additional lock ring which kind of locks everything in place so it doesn't slip while you're riding. Now sometimes this can get stuck and when I mean stuck I mean almost impossible to get loose. So what I did with this one is that I put some bicycle lube inside the grooves probably over the span of three days and I just used a lot of grip and it finally came undone. But if you ever come across something like that, use some bicycle lube, maybe uh, some WD-40 and it'll get that stuff right out and you know what? It'll be ready to sell in no time. So another thing to check out, this particular one has this quick connect which will put the bike wheel right here against the flywheel. If this doesn't move nice and smooth, once again, try some bike lube, maybe some WD-40, and you'll be on your way. Now this is the back of the entire machine. Right here, we're going to have a uh, screw tightener for the flywheel and the entire fluid trainer. Now what this does is that it connects to this right down here. There's a spring right here which allows the actual trainer to get more tension against your tire. Now without that tension it's not going to float well and add resistance to the bike. So here's what happens. The spring is going to cause this to go up and as I torque down on the, on the back it pushes the trainer down adding more resistance. Some of these may not even have that spring. Some do. This is something that you need to take a look at. It's very, very important. Otherwise, you're going to be purchasing that online. Now, underneath the spring is kind of like an L-shaped screw that hooks up to this. Now, that screw can sometimes break. That can be a deal breaker. But you know what? They sell those spare parts. So don't get discouraged because you can find those online and still sell the trainer. All right, so I sold so many of these bike trainers that I had to show you this, which is the top of the line. Now they have some other ones which are kind of like an A-frame, but this actually has what's called, uh, it's like a shock absorbing uh, capability, which means that it takes the, the bounce out of the ride. That's why it's so big and so wide along the edges. So if you, kind of push down, it kind of acts like a shock. Now the other ones that are A-framed don't have that ability. It's just more of like a flywheel with the fluid train capabilities or the magnetic capabilities. So there are two types that I want y'all to check out. The Cyclops or the Cyclops and the Kinetic. The Kinetic ones are green. The Cyclops or the Cyclops are gray. So check those out. I normally recommend $100 and below and they range anywhere from two to three hundred. 
So if you guys happen to like these videos, please like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll give you more informative stuff on like stuff like bike trainers or whatever it is, and get you the most amount of profit for the least amount that you spent for it. Take it easy, guys.